All right. So today I am on day one of my Nick Baxter master study. And uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the simple shapes today. So today I have found a video of his that he made a uh, simple submarine and was just talking about the uh, volume of different forms. Of course, I like to talk about VizRef first, or this is a uh, yeah, this uh, is VizRef on the iPad. Uh, on the i on the computer, it's called PureRef, the one that I use, and it, the same. It's the same thing. So you can bring all of your reference photos into one image, sort of like Procreate, but there's not really a lot of tools for drawing or anything like that. You can just uh, use this program to be like half your screen or make a slide over or whatever. So I kind of arrange rearrange these things some to fit what i want them to be and then kind of crop in the photos to show only what i want and then then we move on from there get over into uh, Nomad and we start using the move tool on a sphere. <clears throat> so one thing is if you look at that little ball in the corner, it'll tell you if it's on the right or the left or whatever. And if you are mirroring anything, so if you want to work only on one side, so you don't have to work on both sides, then you definitely want that squared up on one of those bulbs. Uh, if you start stretching things out and you're not on those planes and you're also trying to make it symmetrical, it's not going to so I just duplicate that sphere a couple of times, validate it. Rename the project, of course. Uh, yeah. uh, Our naming conventions will go quite a while away. Uh, then this other sphere, <clears throat> what I've done is just sliced off the sides of it, and that's going to give me that round shape um, for what you have over here on the as the fins. <clears throat> You can just use a cylinder for that too. This step that I did is extra and it just kind of like accounts for like a little bit of bend in that in the back of the fin so that it's not just like a flat square. But it could go either way. It doesn't really matter. And then you just split it again. And then... So now we're going to take this and uh, this guy right here is called the gizmo. It's down in the lower left corner and we're just going to place it basically where you had it placed on a ship. Duplicate that or clone it and then we're going to move that to the back of the ship, flip it over. We have that uh, re repeating shape, uh, repeating shape plan. We're going to use a cylinder. We're going to add a cylinder to the scene. And we're going to turn that so that it's in the correct. It's just lined up with, the, with what we're doing here. And we are going to make sure we're squared up. That's why I'm up there at the top. And then we're going to line this up with the back of the fin. Line this up somewhere along the middle of the body. Bobbin, bobbin, 
Bring this down. There we go. Bob and Bob an acceptable spot. They were going to want to validate it. Bob and 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 generally the earlier in the process with any of these shapes uh, that you are, the the more you can edit them with the more powerful tools. So like the bigger movements it makes. So this, in this case, I just kind of want to get as straight as I can. This fin back to the back of where we got it. And then over here, we're going to start. Joining some of this stuff together and then adding another sphere. Bobbin, 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 Bobbin. Yeah, we can go ahead and make this our front window. Bobbin, Bobbin. Line it up. Bobbin, 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 Bobbin. The straighter you get that with like the side, uh, the more it will line up straight. When you see it kind of divoting in more on the side, that means you're just like not at the exact halfway of the sphere. Bobbin, bobbin, bobbin. Bobbin, bobbin, bobbin. You want bobbin. to clone things as often as possible. That way you don't have to start from scratch anything. You just clone it. Bobbin, 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 bobbin. Bobbin, 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 Bobbin. A couple different angles. Bobbin, 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 Bobbin. Always try to pick one of those angles to like just have it locked in at. Bobbin, 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 that way, bobbin. you're moving stuff, you know you're doing it on a 90 degree grid. Bobbin, bobbin, bobbin. Shake uh, another sphere down for the other window and move that out. <clears throat> now, before we make the windows, we're going to have to make the seals for the windows and we got to make the ship hollow, right? We were going to, we ultimately want to make this look like glass. Bobbin. And we want to make the ship have an inside. So we want to make the ship look hollow. So what I'm doing here Bobbin. is Bobbin. Let's see. selecting the body. Bobbin. 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 And then Bobbin. we're going to duplicate the body, shrink it down just a little bit, Bobbin. Bobbin. move it forward. Bobbin. And what this is going to do is uh, make Bobbin. a copy of itself within itself. And then if we just leave the body on and select both of them and Bobbin. leave the visibility of the smaller one off, uh, then when we hit the Boolean button, it's going to cut out that shape from the inside. So it'll basically hollow it out like a pumpkin, right? Uh, and I'm going to go into this in uh, in a pumpkin video here pretty quickly. Bobbin, 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 Bobbin. So, Bobbin. Actually, it looks like I did a little bit different here. Bobbin, Bobbin. And I've cut out the spheres. 
So I use the spheres as booleans and then cut out that shape. And then I copied the body, shrunk that down, cut that out. Mm -hmm. So it's the same process, whether you do the spheres first or the um, body uh, first, you're just going to need a copy of the spheres and the body as you ultimately want them. So we go up here, hit this Boolean button, we mesh it. And there we go. Now we have a the whole shell of the ship that's hollowed out, right? So pretty fast. We're uh, not quite 15 minutes in. And now we're going to go ahead and we're turning back to, on these bubbles. And we're going to place them. Look at it from a couple of different angles. Make sure we stay squared up. Now you want to add a torus. So in ZBrush, it's going to be called a ring 3D. In uh, Nomad, it's called a torus. And Bob. we're going to turn that on a 90 degree basis. Make sure it's lined up Bob. Bob. with everything else we have going on. Shrink it down so it fits. Bob. 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 You can put it inside and then like weld them together. Bob. So change how uh, how thick that ring is. So uh, uh, when you get off the gizmo and you use that little donut thing and you grab the handle, it will allow you to change the thickness of that ring. And then here, I'm just going to clone it and, and do the same thing on the other, other Mago. So we're going to want to leave these separate. These can be joined uh, because they're not really going to change their position at all, but we do want them separate because it's going to make it easier to paint it later. Right, if everything is in its own separate layer, separate poly groups, or they don't really do poly groups here, they call it something else, I think. But we'll get into that later. Bobbin, 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 Bobbin. And then, so now when we turn everything on, here's what we have. So let's go ahead and we'll probably, I would say, Bobbin, 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 and get into that. Periscope or yeah, I think we're going to go periscope next. Bob and 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 Bob Go ahead and replace that, put it where we want it to go. And then we're just going to duplicate that for any different size that we want. We can also make it hollow with a with the lid on the rim so it has a wall. So that when we want to make this that ring on the top, we can just do that. Bobbin, bobbin, bobbin. 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 And what I find kind of the easiest to do is if you uh, stretch this out and then mask a portion of it, you can then just 
spend the rest of it. You might have to like massage it into place somebody. It'll it'll work. Go ahead and place this right where it goes. Keep it all separated. Just use this uh, to go ahead and carve out that shape out of the other side. And I didn't need to do that. I don't know why you did it that way. Just uh, show a couple different ways how to get it done. You can also do that, I, think, I believe, before you validate. Right, here we go. So what we're going to do here is mask off uh, half of this guy. And then we're going to invert it so that that end is unmasked. And then we're going to try to turn it 90 degrees. So I not that edge, so... Gizmo to rotate. Bobbin. We'll go ahead and move it forward. Bobbin. Move it down. And then we'll use the smooth function or the smooth tool to kind of smooth it out. Bobbin. 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 And that should Bobbin. give us a 90 degree bend, similar to similar to works in the picture. Bobbin. 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 Bobbin, 
Sometimes when we start work on this stuff, it takes a second to get it back uh, back in place. a little bit from the sides here. This is a different way. Bobbin, Bobbin. Go ahead and with a tube. Bobbin, tube yeah. Bobbin, Bobbin, Bobbin. Sorry about that. Little side quest. So, tube's going to work like a pin tour in Illustrator, and we can just make that corner quite a bit easier. Bobbin, Bobbin. Um, without messing up the diameter of the tube. There we go. Bobbin, 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 Bob, mm -hmm. uh, try to center this guy, validate it. Put Bob, where we want it to go. Bob, 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 Bobbin, 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 so I can draw some of this stuff together. Bobbin, figure out what's next. Bobbin, 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 Bobbin. Bobbin, 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 what we're going to actually do on this one is um, we're going to use it to boolean in the shape out. So it just has a little bit of a divot right there where it goes from the front to the back. Bobbin. Or from the uh, spherical shape to the conical shape. Bobbin. 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 Bobbin, 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 
Bowen, 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 Bowen. And so, yeah, just use this Boolean function. Anytime you're like erasing or cutting out of shape, and do that as much as you can, you know, as much as you can do with the with the full shapes before you get into using like clay, uh, the the better. Bowen. Bowen. For the next trick, we're going to do the propeller area. And so what we're going to do is we're going to use a cylinder. And um, we're, going to make the, we're going to make it hollow. We're going to give it caps at the end. So it has like an interior wall. And uh, it's more like the tube. But we don't need to bend. So we're just going to bring that out at the very end of the, of the, of the back here. And then we're going to taper it down so it's a little bit more ready to be shaped like that, uh, like the propeller back there. And uh, but we don't, but we don't, but we don't might do that propeller justice back there. But I, I got as close as as I could, or I got uh, you know to what I thought was a viable place. So, but we don't. Let me go ahead and just. But we don't. But we don't down. But we don't. But we on, 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 but we on. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna mask out a small section, and I'm gonna pull that out as if it were. But we on, but we on, but we on, but we on one of the propeller blades. But we on, 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 but we on. But we on, 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 but we on. But we on, 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 but we on. So I'm playing around with symmetry because if I can do all of them at once, that would be optimal. But but we on, but we on, but we on. I don't end up figuring it out. But we on, 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 but we on. But we on, but we on, but we on. But we on. But we on, but we on. But we on, but we on, but we on, but we on. But we on. But we on. But we on. But we on, but we on, but we on. But we on, but we on. But we on, but we on, but we on, but we on, but we on. But we on, 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 but we on. But we on, but we on. So now the symmetry is on. But we on, but we on, but we on. Don't want it all. Just gonna mark out this little area here. But we on, but we on. Invert the selection and then drag it out. But we on, but we on, but we on, but we on, but we on. But we on, but we on, but we on. 
Leon, 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 Leon. Then we're going to go ahead and just pull this out and just use our move tool. We want to use the move tool as much as possible. Uh, and even these little artifacts are cool. So to, to not have those little artifacts, you have a higher resolution. But depending on what you're doing, those those higher or those artifacts like in the fan can help. So in this instance, we're gonna smooth those down. But yeah. I was looking at another piece where it's got like the uh, plateaus in Arizona or or Vegas, the the plateau landscapes, and you can kind of use a plane and just mask out the shapes that you want your plateaus to be, and then lift those up, and it'll make the shapes of those about. All. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's super easy little effect. Um, I'm going to go ahead and clone this a couple of times and rotate it. And then we have our propeller. Then I'm going to Boolean it all together so it's one mesh instead of three. Bowed, 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 bowed. We have it from every angle. In every uh, lighting situation, perfectly water. Bowed, 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 bowed. Looks like I did not do a hollow propeller. Bowed, bowed. Bowed, bowed, bowed. Bowed, 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 bowed. We go ahead and start choosing colors and uh how metallic we want things and you can choose your roughness and your and your metallic in here you can do a few other things with the paint we'll get into later and just hit paint all or paint fill and i think i was going to try something here with the light where i just painted it gray and then lit it up and then painted the light the back but i went ahead and uh i didn't do that so that's what the gray color is for a minute. Bowed. 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 Bowed, 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 bowed. Go ahead and just make all this stuff purple. Bowed, 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 shiny reflective purple. Bowed. Trying to mimic what you got going here. Bowed. 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 So that made it a little dark, maybe. We'll get there. We'll get there. Bowed. 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 I'm going to go ahead and color in these rings and the propeller. All this stuff looks slightly gold. I don't know why I want so much more yellow. You want. Um, 
Uh, we had no reason to do that or attachment to it. Uh, it just put much yellower colors for some other thing. Uh, Sorry about that. But what's cool thing here is you can kind of like slide back through those colors and then once you have all those colors figured out and you pull your final image into Procreate, you can then slide back to it more. And so what I'm doing here is I'm going to cut off these spheres so that I can make them into glass and they are not going to distort. Or, uh, they're not going to... Uh, uh, have uh, too much bend in the back right so i'm gonna go ahead and just cut the backs of those off uh, 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 then we turn on refractions uh, 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 we can play with these sliders here a little bit to kind of change how that glass reacts by. Uh, 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 Bobbin, Bobbin, a little bit more. Bobbin, smooth of a highlight in the glass. It's like super crispy since we're under underwater checking things out. Bobbin, 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 and then, uh, let's see, let's change how this reacts down here. Uh, I match this a bit. I wanted a bit higher resolution so I can see that out, uh, the chopping side of it. But you can see in the reflection that it looks like it's downtown building. <laughs> so maybe it would be a, would have been good for me to get the, uh, uh, some kind of underwater background in there, but the issue is that it's like a 360 camera, and I think 360 underwater pictures. I don't know if they're hard to come by, but they're not in the program native. So uh, I'm gonna have to go look for some of those. Bobbin, 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 Bobbin. Make sure we get both windows in here. See what it looks like. Already. <laughs> Bobbin, 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 Bobbin. Put a couple of lights in here. What's it look like to put a light inside? Bobbin, Bobbin, Bobbin. Oh, Bobbin. Kind of lights it up in here from these windows. Maybe something that we can't see exactly, but shows through in here. Bobbin, Bobbin. Go ahead and see what we can do. Bobbin, 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 Bobbin. Change the color up a little bit. Yeah. Bobbin, 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 uh, point them are, you know, mainly from the top down, bottom up. So we have the light coming in from the top of the ocean and or the top of the, uh, of the ocean. 
and uh, one coming from the bottom that's maybe reflecting off the floor or something like that. Take the man room since the dawn hour and throw these lights. Bobbin, 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 Bobbin. Bobbin, 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 Bobbin. Bobbin, 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 Bobbin. Bobbin. Well, looks like I'm taking my sweet ass time. But, you know, at 45 minutes in, we uh, we have this thing that we can put in forever. Um, in Bobbin. Another piece. Bobbin. Basically ever. So, pretty Bobbin. close. Bobbin. Getting there. Just to be loud. 